Welcome back to OWF uh, Web TV 2012. We're here with Tony Wasserman, uh, a professor of Carnegie Mellon University and a board member of Open Source Initiative. Welcome back, uh, Tony. We're glad to have you here again this year. Thanks. It's, it's good to be here. I always like coming to Paris. Great to have you here. So with the Open Source Initiative, what, what exactly is, the, is, is your mission in, uh, so in this entity? Yeah. So the Open Source Initiative was started uh, in the late 1990s uh, and had for many years uh, the activity of approving open source licenses. But part of the mission of the Open Source Initiative is around education and educating people uh, across a broad range of, of uh, topics and a broad range of people about the uh, freedom and the benefits that come with open source software. Okay, and based on, uh, I mean, you're you're one of the one of the people that has that has been in all the editions of Open Board Forum so far. Yes. So based on what you've seen here and with with the people with all the discussions, where do you think open source is going next? What are the trends ahead? So I think the trends have have accelerated. That is, uh, the first uh, edition of the uh, Open World Forum was actually at uh, one of the low points of the economy in in Western Europe and and in the United States. So we've seen. Um, uh, from there, a lot of uh, uh, acceptance and, and use of open source. It's 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 much more widely used. There are many fewer people who are questioning it. Uh, you see that almost every organization is is using open source now, and that wasn't the case four or five years ago. But today, um, I had the opportunity to be on an interesting panel that was trying to look forward from here, and I started by uh, saying that. Um, uh, we had solar panels installed uh, on, in my home in, in San Francisco, and it came with an open source license because some of the software used to control the, uh, the solar panel was, was open source software. Uh, and and, and uh, what we're seeing is that open source really has won in, in, in some kind of sense in, in that it's uh, in the cloud, it's in Linux, it's pervasive. Uh, all the big data tools, with, on, with only one exception, uh, are using um, open source software. So, so for me now, the next step is how do you make everyone, in a broad sense, aware of the benefits of open source? So basically that's, that turns down to education as well. So you're talking about benefits of everyone and what's, what would be according to you, the biggest challenge in that? <laughs> so, so, you know, it's a very big order, of course. I mean, uh, we know how to reach people who are students in universities. We know how to have professional development uh, seminars. Uh, we, we know at least a little bit about how to uh, influence the, the people who make business decisions and, and government decisions. But what we have not done is um, made it clear to the public at large what are the benefits of open source software. Uh, and we, we had in this panel, I think, a very interesting discussion uh, that started with the, the idea that um, you have a pacemaker, you've had heart surgery, somebody has implanted a pacemaker, and the, the source code for that pacemaker is closed. That is, you don't know if it's working properly, you don't know if it will respond to everything that somebody's heart might do. You don't know if uh, it's making the most effective use of uh, the battery so that it will last as long as possible. You don't know if there's some software bug in it that uh, might in fact cause the pacemaker to fail unexpectedly. So, so we put forward the idea, suppose that one manufacturer made a pacemaker where the source code was open. So what would happen? Would the insurance company or the uh, regulation board or the surgeons or the hospitals all say, this is wonderful, we will now only buy uh, pacemakers where the source code is open? Would consumers say, oh, I want to know what my pacemaker does I want to be sure that somebody has verified it, so I want it open too. Uh, so, so it's that notion that you take what has been a technical topic and 
make the benefits of it clear to the public at large. And, and you think that we have already uh, achieved something in the last five years to take this topic forward, to I make it more yeah. ubiquitous, if we can say it? I, I don't know that we have moved very far yet, but I think we have uh, changed the thinking that there's a much larger population of people who uh, choose open source software. Uh, developers in general uh, and startup companies rely much more heavily on open source, so there's a much bigger community of people. You also have some political issues. So, for example, in um, uh, there are some questions about some of these Chinese companies selling telecom equipment. Uh, that uh, there are concerns that somehow that telecom equipment uh, will be sending data back to uh, China. Uh, are we talking about ZTE here or not? Yes, that's one of the two yeah. companies, yes. So what w the only solution, if I were ZTE, would say, ah, here's my source code. It's open. You can see that I'm not sending anything back if they have nothing to hide. So now the governments in the different countries where they are trying to sell their products could say, okay, we'll buy your, your product if it's open source, if we can see what it does and verify it. So there are these pressures that are coming up on the consumer side and on the government side that will lead people to, over time, see the advantages of of things being open. Is it going to happen this week? No. This year? No. But, but there are more and more people who are aware of where uh, the benefits are going and as they get older and gain more positions of influence in their companies, in government, uh, those trends will accelerate. Well, it's, it's certainly great to hear that it's moving forward so we can just think of bright days ahead. Right. Well, thank you very much, Tony, for all this, and uh, see you again next year. I hope so. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.